We're a company that's created um, a product that just fundamentally makes people feel better, especially if you have some level of lactose intolerance. And w how, what percentage of the overall milk, milk market do you guys fill, and what's the price difference to, to regular milk? So we, you know, we're very predominant in the natural channel and in premium retailers, and we do sit at a price premium relative to normal milks. So we're sitting in a special cabinet. But the product is actually starting to really take care of itself now. I mean, the consumer demand for the product uh, is impressive. We're getting pulled by consumers across the country. Uh, trade is really picking up the story. We announced entry into Walmart and Costco a few weeks ago. So it's, it's, a, it's a great consumer story. And I mean, the number of people today, I, I reckon, since 10 years ago that say, oh, I don't eat dairy anymore. Is this an alternative to them? that they can't, or if they have a full dairy intolerance, this, this is still not? Well, what, what we're finding is that most people who think they have an intolerance for dairy actually have an intolerance for the A1 protein. So if they drink A2 milk, they're recognizing that actually the dairy cabinet's not off limits. Mm -hmm. I remember we had, it wasn't you, Jane, we had someone else from this company on before. Yeah, probably Blake Waltrip, who's our CEO for the U.S. Right, and then and we, and we talked about actually how it works. There's, there's, cows somewhere that, that they're A1 versus A2, right? Or, or, I mean, you don't actually switch the protein around. There's no, some no. cows. Gen they're genetically predisposed. Where, were they? where are they? Uh, well, in India, for example. Has, uh, the, has the A. In fact, the, the discovery of um, A1 versus A2 proteins came from dairy scientists understanding that there were dynamics that were different around the world in terms right. of dairy intolerance. Right. And, and in India, they don't see dairy intolerance. They don't see a lot of other diseases that are connected, like diabetes and heart disease. But what did you do, bring some cows over? Or you just have... No, what it turns out to be is that it was a gene mutation a long time ago in the European uh, dairy herds. And so if you look at herds across the country, you see roughly 30% of cattle dairy cows are A2 only. So you just use those? So we, we've got genetic testing that helps us understand which of the cows that are A2 only, and we segregate the herds. We've got a special way of managing herds uh, with farmers that keep them segregated so we've got integrity in the supply chain. How tough is the market, though? I mean, so many people now are used to nut milks, and they've really dominated this, this milk category. I mean, as, as people are moving away from regular cow milk, they move to nut milk. So you have a group of people who are already used to that substitute. Well, what, what we're seeing is people, and you can see the testimonials on social media, so we let consumers speak for themselves, but we're seeing people come back into the dairy um, cabinet because they are recognizing that they can actually drink milk. So instead of having to drink nut alternatives and have cereal with a nut milk, which is a different experience, uh, they're coming back to drinking fresh milk, which is fantastic because it's giving growth back to dairy farmers. Uh, seeing fresh milk sales finally start to uh, rise in a sector that's been on the decline. It's clearly a, a passionate uh, sector and issue with the trade talks with Canada, dairy farming. Do you expect them to cede any ground on that area? It's such a, a crucial issue for domestic farmers, politics and the like. Do you think uh, there's going to be wiggle room or not? Well, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. And what we've done is ensure that throughout the supply chain, everybody's benefiting from uh, a reintroduction of um, uh, an A2 only product. Do you and export to Canada? We don't export to Canada today, okay. and but we we would like to expect to see <laughs> we'd expect to see demand building uh, into Canada as well. And we'd love to see um, dairy farmers benefiting from uh, the opportunity to, to people need to try.